the grass withereth, the flower fadeth. But the word of God stands forever. I have an important message for you today. That is, sin has destroyed mankind. However, God has set His only Son as a sacrifice on the cross for our sins. That who to admit Jesus, the Lord of their lives, will be saved from their sin. Now the world has proclaimed in its naturalness that sin is okay. Sin is not okay. That is why Jesus had to die on the cross. He gave His life for us so that we may be blameless in the sight of the Father. The world pushes that sin is okay. You have an evil society. God is holy, righteous, and He is just. Only those who are completely without sin can stand in the presence of the Father. That is God. So He gave His only Son. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, so that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's a promise from God. Apart from this promise, we have no hope. No hope of entering into heaven. Because Jesus said, He is the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes unto the Father but through Jesus Christ. Buddha cannot save you. Barack Obama cannot save you. None of these false gods can save you. Only through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ can you be saved. Jesus Christ was man and God at the same time. Part of the three persons of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. God is holy, righteous, and just. We come out here, I come out here with my brother today as a warning, as a warning that hellfire awaits those who are unrighteous. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But God has given His Son as a sacrifice on the cross that we may be blameless. But only, only through that sacrifice can we be blameless. There is no other way into heaven. Be not deceived that only through the precious blood of Jesus Christ can you be saved. No warning is too strong. Hellfire is permanent. There is an afterlife and there is judgment. Jesus says to repent. Repent means to turn from your sin. Turn from wickedness. Turn towards the holiness of God. Turn to the love of God. Repent from sin. Repent from wickedness and be saved. Jesus said, unless the man is born again, he cannot even see the kingdom of heaven. Unless you make Jesus the Lord of your life, you will not be saved. You have many false religions out there. They teach you there are other ways into heaven. There's only one. That's through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. The Buddhists are deceived. They know nothing. Buddha is dead. He's still dead. But only Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Buddha cannot save you. Obama cannot save you. Mohammed cannot save you. Only the blood of Jesus Christ will save you from sin. For God is holy, righteous, and just. And we need to be just as holy to enter into heaven. That is why He gave His only Son as a sacrifice on the cross so that we may be blameless. Apart from that sacrifice, there is no hope. Sin has separated us from God. Now, if you don't know what sin is, I'll tell you. If you've lied, if you've stolen, if you've had sex outside of marriage, these are all sin. Homosexuality. If you've hated, hating makes you a murderer in the eyes of God. Well, there's some good news, and that good news is the gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ that He died for your sin, it would be a shame that you would die in your sin 
when he took the sacrifice for you. That unless you have the anointing, unless you've made Jesus Lord of your life, you will be lost. You'll be cast in the hell fire. That's forever and ever. God gave his only son so that we might be saved, saved from hellfire. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that whosoever believeth on him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's a promise from God. There is no other way of entering into heaven only, only through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross can you enter heaven. Now our righteousness is like rags, filthy rags in the presence of God. Only a holy sacrifice and that was Jesus on the cross. The blood of Jesus cleanses us of our sin. If we turn our back on Jesus, we'll be lost. Jesus said, whoever does not believe that he is the Lord is already condemned. So make Jesus your Lord. Humble yourself at the cross. Repent of wickedness. Repent of sin. And be saved. My brother and I come out here today to warn you. You will have no excuse. You have heard the biblical gospel of Jesus Christ that there's only one path to heaven, and that is through the cross of Christ. His sacrifice paid for our sin. His suffering and the shedding of His blood has cleansed us, of, cleansed us all of unrighteousness. We have no hope outside of this sacrifice. Is the Lord calling you? Is He calling you by your name? Unless the Lord draws you, you will not receive redemption. You will not receive grace. When He does, He knows your name. He calls you. Do you hear that calling? Will you humble yourself at the cross of Christ? Will you make Jesus the Lord of your life and be saved? Unless a man be born again, he cannot even see the kingdom of heaven. There are those out here who will ignore the gospel of Jesus Christ because it's inconvenient for them. Or perhaps they worship their trendy jobs or their trendy lifestyles. Or in the case of this town, it's not fashionable. Well, I'll tell you what else is not fashionable. Burning forever in hell is not fashionable. If that's more important to you than salvation, then so be it. But we come here to give you a warning. That warning is that hell is real, and Jesus Christ took that penalty. He died for you so that you will be saved. You will not have to die in your sin. Because anyone who dies in their sin, and they're not born again, they shall be cast into hell fire, and that is forever. Unless you make Jesus, that's the Christ, that's the third part of the, the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you'll be condemned to hell forever. Only through the blood of Jesus Christ can you be saved. Now, apparently this town is a tough nut. They want to ignore the words of the Gospel. It's not fashionable to listen to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Well, unfortunately, these people who ignore, they're going to go and stand before the Lord and say, well, Father, I never know. And what he will tell them, well, son or daughter, I placed a man on the street that gave you the truth, and you ignored it. That truth was the gospel of Jesus Christ that only, only through that sacrifice of Jesus Christ can you be saved. You cannot work your way into heaven. You cannot sneak your way into heaven. You certainly can't pay for it. Praying to Mary won't save you. Only the blood of Jesus Christ will save you from hellfire.